Hi you guys, this is my bad little Google Chrome because my son takes his um, the good one to his dad's. But I couldn't wait to tell you this. Today, this is amazing, okay? The public school tried to force my son to do yoga. Now, most people think it's just a innocent exercise. It's not. Yoga itself is a Hindu, Eastern mystic, religious practice. And yoga means to yoke with or to yoke with their gods. So they would go like into the cobra pose to summon the cobra, the serpent spirit, by their breath, concentration, and the pose, which calls forth the demon spirit, their gods, to indwell the person, okay? They often get the kundalini spirit, the serpent spirit that wraps up the spine. And you get the twitches and the weird shaking stuff like this you see in the modern new age churches like Bethel and stuff. I, I don't know. I just know that is very much what I saw in Reiki yoga and all kinds of occult practices or mystic practices. So I was so proud of my son. She said she was trying to teach the children to calm down. And my son went up to her boldly and said, I'm a Christian, Miss King. I don't do yoga because it draws spirits to you. And it's what Hindu people do. And I'm Christian. And she said, well, I'm Christian too. It's just exercise. And you will do it. You have to. The whole class has to. And he goes, my mom says, we don't do that because it's religious stuff. And, you know, I was so proud of him. He's nine years old and he stood for his faith. Now, my son can't pray over his food, you know, aloud to Jesus in school. Why are they bringing religious practices of Hindus in the public school, forcing my son to do it? Now, what's amazing is that he said, Mom, I prayed because I didn't want to do that. And I don't want some spirit coming at me. And I told him he was protected and that God says he will give his angels charge over us. Do you know, I don't ever pick my son up from school, but I just happened to come that day, today. And the moment they played the music and put the kids in position to start their yoga, they called him to the office. And he says, Mom, I won't ever doubt God's real again he saved me from doing that and I did not want to do it. Now, it's not brainwashing my kid. I give my choice. I, I give my son choices and I explain to them and I make it clear. This is why. And I wrote his teacher and I said, you make, I understand you're trying to keep kids calm and teaching things, but you could do Tai Chi. That's not religious. You can do uh, Pilates or stretching or calisthenics or something. But if you ever do that again in your class, you will not force my son to participate. He will do something else. You know, he can stretch or do something, but you will never force my son into a religious practice under the guise of innocent exercise. And I think the problem is people don't realize what it really is. It really is a, a mystical Hindu religious practice to yoke or commune with their spirits, their gods, okay? They have a lot of gods and they're all demonic spirits. So um, I was so proud of him. We're told don't do as the pagan does and say you're doing it for me. But what's scarier here is that it's under the guise of innocent. And I've known people to be possessed by continuing to do these yoga practices and getting the kundalini spirit. And then other spirits come and they, they get crazy. There is a practice that's crazy, but monks, they can literally levitate. Demons lift them up off the ground. But what they do is they meditate. I don't know if you know this. But like the Dalai Lama or any high-level monk, they have to go under a tree or in a cave for a while. Like Muhammad went into the cave. It's, it's always the same trash. They go there and they meditate. And in their mind, they tear their body apart in pieces, dismember themselves, lay it out in a bowl for their demon gods, and offer their bodies to the demons. I'm not lying about this. This really is happening. And they often say, they can see and hear the vroom, vroom coming through the forest, these demons coming to feed on them. Because in the spirit, and it, it's, they, they say they can't tell sometimes what's real and what's not because of the mind, the transcendence in their mind. So there's a lot of uh, things that we don't, most people don't know about these Eastern mystic religions. And Catholicism got their rosary beads from Buddhism. The Hail Mary full of grace, Hail Mary full of grace, the vain repetitious prayers we're told not to do come from Buddhism. So does the not eating meat thing. It's all Buddhism. So uh, I was really proud of my son. 
But I, I wanted to let people know yoga is not some innocent little thing. And I don't care. I'm going to make a lot of people mad. I could care less. You know? Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some info and also to brag on my kid. I was really proud of him. Okay, God bless. Bye.